Mid Fumes, and in this episode, we are actually going to authorize the update and destroy part for the product. This means we have to create one more field in our product table, which is called user ID. Obviously, we are creating a system where anyone can register, can create product to sell on our website. So obviously, that person has to edit, destroy, or update his own product only. But because now anyone can update any product, okay. So if I want to uh, update this one, I can update this one. So for the fifteenth, let's see, fifteenth and fifteenth one, you can see, and I will get description of all these things. But I can update this by doing this. You can see, and now if I say here. Description is updated and this is not exactly we want. So firstly if I go to my database SQL Pro and go to that particular database which is EAPI on the products table, we don't have any field for our user ID. So let's first create that. So I will go to Sublime, go to database, migration and the third one which is for create products table. We have to provide here one more field which is called user underscore id and obviously this has to be unsigned and has to be an indexed one okay that's absolutely fine if you want you want to create that reference on lead cascade part you can do that i'm not going to show that because it doesn't matter here so the point is that we now can again migrate this all these things so that we have these uh, user ID field in our table. So let's say PHP artisan migrate refresh and by doing that we will lose all our data. Yeah that's exactly why we are using seeding so that every time we lose data we will seed. And I get many questions that why I want to use migration because it delete all the data. So the point is that we have to use the seeding or the factory part so that our data is not has to be an actual data. It's a fake data so that I can remove it. I can recreate it every time I want. So let's hit enter. Now this time because I refresh I got this user ID. But now we have to update our factories that means model factory we also want one more field called user underscore id user underscore id so we don't have any user because we have not created user and the user on the last time we have created by using the php artisan auth but this time i'm going to use this user factory created by level by default so we don't have to do anything here so let's just say here what i will say i will say function and this is actually a function which is going to return app slash user colon colon all and then give me any random one okay so this is good but obviously before creating product we have to create the user so that when this function run it has some user to give here so that's why if i go to seeds folder database seeding and here i can say factory of app user class and let's create uh, five users and then arrow create so firstly I am creating user, then I am creating product, then I am creating review. This sequence is very important because review need product and product need user. So let's go here and say php artisan db colon c. Hit enter and now we will get all the data here. So refresh we are getting 5 users product 50 product and 
maybe 300 yeah 300 reviews everything is good working absolutely fine now we have to modify our system so let's just close these thing okay and now I go to app HTTP controllers and product controller whenever we are going to update a product so on the update part we firstly have to check whether the product is belongs to particular logged in user or not actually not logged in the token from which this request is coming that token user has to be the owner of this product so how will we get that why not create a function so here I will create a new function called product user check I think it's a descriptive one <laughs> okay so here what I have to check I have to firstly check that if auth ID matches with the product arrow user underscore ID and obviously we have to accept product here okay if this is true then I want to throw a new exception and my exception is product not belongs to user product not belongs to user okay and let's delete these things if this is true then throw exception of this otherwise do nothing so let's say one more thing here on the update part I will say dollar this arrow product user check and we have to provide here product okay that's very nice so if this will be true this means if this is not equal to uh, this has to be not equal to F then this equal to okay so that if this is not equal to this then throw exception otherwise if user ID and product user ID is correct then go ahead okay so that's good and now the same thing for destroy part but the problem is there is no product not belongs to user exception so why not create this exception so for that I will go here I will say PHP artisan make exception and the name of exception is product not belongs to user great and where is that that exception is inside exception and product not belongs to exception and what we have to do here we have to say a render function so whenever this exception is called we will return this function okay it will automatically run this render function so why not return the data and this will be like that has to be name array okay so now product not belongs to user and now if I go to postman here we will face one problem what's the problem is that if I try to update and if I send this route you can see we are not getting anything even we are getting some kind of error the main problem with this is that we are not going to use we are not allowed to use this auth token anymore because everything is now gone our OAuth client is even empty so why not create OAuth client so for that I will say here PHP artisan passport colon install uh, install okay so this means here we will get the data so now we have to get the new token so that's why I have this OAuth folder and here I will provide instead of these things firstly make this empty and now this has to be new secret and let's grab a user let's get fifth one so fifth user is this and the password is C 
secret why secret because on user factory it's secret where is the model yeah here it is on the factory this is secret okay that's why now send we are getting the token so let's get its token from here go to setting manage environment on the bit fumes one completely destroy it bearer and then token update close and now let's try to check this so because i'm going to update 15th one body is okay so let's check 15th product product number 15 belongs to third user and what i can say if uh, we have some problem we have internal error so we are getting this error because we have to import this product not found at the top so let's use php companion find use so find use and now where is that yeah it is here and obviously we have to use auth also so use auth okay now let's go to postman send this route we are still getting the 500 internal server error let's try to accept normal thing that means accept html and see what the problem is this time we are getting the exact response we have expected firstly this not has to be data this has to be errors and let's see the problem this means whenever we are accepting json then there is a problem so if i go here so on the handlers.php or inside exception we are saying if request accepts json then go here that means go inside exception trait here we have said that if there is nothing about model exception nothing about http exception run the original one the problem is we are everywhere using dollar e for exception and here we are using whole exception word so make it e and let's go to postman and now accept yeah okay send this and yes we are getting this so let's just change that product not found it's not data it's errors okay and now send great errors product not belongs to user or simply if you want you can say product not belongs to you but let's say a fifth okay this one is having fifth user id so 20th that's good so let's change 20th one send this and you can see it's updated and if i try to update 21st let's see <laughs> i think it's also belong to yeah 21st is also belongs to this user so let's try 22 and product not belongs to you similarly if i try to destroy 21st send and here we are getting 204 no content this means this product is deleted successfully and we know that this belongs to user fifth but let's check for 19th so send this route and yeah we are getting product not belongs to user so everything is set up and let's push this to github so git add all git commit hyphen m which says uh, product not belongs to user great word so git push and this will push to our github repository yay so everything is good if you have any doubt feel free to message me comment me and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye